somebody had a heart attack. Maybe OD'd on cocaine. Should be going down across the street. All right, so I picked this guy up the other day for 30 bucks on sale at Ross. Who knew they had more than just clothes? But it's got a light and charging ports and whatnot, but it supposedly will jump start a car and it's rechargeable. So we're ready to test drive this little monster. I wanna make sure it still works. And obviously I just wanna drive it around the block just to see how ridiculous it is. But we're gonna make sure that this thing works too by jump starting the Miata. So let's see what happens. Okay, so it even has a little red light to let you know if you've got it connected wrong. And apparently, once it blinks, you're good to go. So the battery was completely dead. It literally just clicked the starter one time. And then uh, I obviously went inside and got that to see if it would work. Haven't tested it yet, just bought it the other day. So let's see what happens. We got power. All right, obviously we don't have fuel. So I think the fuel pump needs to be grounded. So we'll check that. So all I did was look in the wire loom that was just kind of hanging. This went to the tail lights and all that stuff. And I'm sure one of these is for probably the tail lights and the other one is probably for the fuel pump. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you see just this bare metal ground connection, then you know that's probably it. And then just pack them to something like I did with the battery. And then we should have start. If not, then we go from there. Let's try this again. We got our jump starter connected. Clutch in. Oh shit. <laughs> that thing totally works. Holy shit. And it's so little. It's insane. But now we know this little guy, if you're gonna buy a jump starter kit, this is the thing to get. So now, uh, let's um, take this beast around the block. <laughs> Holy crap, this feels weird. It's literally a go-kart. No muffler. So yeah, if you want to have yourself a pretty rad little go-kart, I don't know where you live or if you're capable of off-roading where you live, but um, take it to a racetrack. You don't need a title or plates or any of that for a racetrack. You can very easily cage it out and have tons of fun. Holy crap, is this thing fast.